Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Bounty of One. There's been a new update which means there's a brand new character. They are called Madeline and we need to walk 3,000 meters in one game to unlock. Or we can use the handy code the devs gave me because I know I'm not a very good gamer. And that feels like a scam. So this is her. Her perk is every time you move two meters, load your next shot with two times more projectiles, max three times. And we start with 30% move speed and minus 30% attack a second so yeah essentially every little while we should go absolutely mental yeah loads of projectiles come out every so often okay so that is good that should actually help us quite a bit we're really fast as well i'm liking this now we've just leveled up we've got a gold gain much more damage so our damage is currently 40 let's grab that it's gone up to 70 so we should one hit most of these now which means i can pretty much just stay still and oh that guy was coming straight towards me Anyway, we'll grab some more coins, level up again. I guess we gain a lot more damage. It's purple, so we're up to 90 damage now. But yeah, these bigger enemies, yeah, it does look like we can one-shot them. So that is good. There's a boss. Uh, whilst we didn't one-shot them, they're going down very quick. I'm going to gain a lot more damage. What is the game doing to me? It's giving me so much damage. We are on 110 damage already. I don't think I've ever had this luck. Uh, the guy with the butt face is getting quite close. Though. There you go. We've taken him down, so we've got a chest. What has he got for us? Ooh, this is a good one for walking. Throw three knives in random directions for each four meters traveled. Yeah, let's take that. I'm pretty sure that is a new one as well. So basically, as we run around, we're now throwing knives just randomly. So essentially, I'm building a move around build rather than a standy still one. Oh, we got three greys. Anyway, for this one, I think I'll take increasing my critical damage chance. That goes from 5% to 10%. Uh, so one in 10 shots should be critical damage, which is a 200% multiplier. Uh, next up, we're going attack speed. So we do 1.2 a second. Now we're doing 1.65. The fact we are one-shotting everyone still is very good. Uh, presumably my throwing knives do that as well, do they? Yeah, they, they one hit, so that is brilliant. Uh, I'm going to increase my critical damage as well. So add another 100%. So they do 300% damage now. Uh, as we increase our fire rate later on, that will come in very handy, no doubt. Uh, but for now, since we are one-shotting everyone, I didn't see much point in increasing the damage for just a grey one. I'm all about the big colours, like this one, which is purple. This is the garlic damage. Oh, we've also got... Is that new? Oh, 10% more experience. That could be amazing. Yeah, I'm going to do that because if we're leveling up more often, then I'm going to be happy. Yep, more damage. 125 damage now. <laughs> this is so much for so early on. All right, so attack speed, damage, or 5%. I think I'll do the 5% critical. Uh, not that we need more damage at the moment. Things are going well. We keep getting the damage once. What is going on? Gain more damage. Oh, thank you. I don't know if this character is like meant to be super lucky or something. Right, I tell you what, on this one, I think I might go with more attack speed. So 1.65 a second up to 2.1 a second. Because the faster we can shoot this, the more enemies we're going to kill. Because even the big one... Oh, no, no, the big ones we're no longer one-hitting. Okay, so we will have to increase our damage again at some point. Yeah, I'm going to do my critical damage so it's now 20%. So one in five hits should be critical. I knew those straight C's in math would pay off someday. Oh, there's another boss. Can we take her out pretty quick? Yep, that was so easy. <laughs> right, game really wants to give me this garlic armor. So let's do it. I think we take the bounce. So our projectiles will now bounce and hopefully hit a few enemies behind. Yeah, I guess more move speed again. We're going to be so quick. I've never actually gone for like a speedy build before. So it could be interesting. Oh, I'm too fast. I just ran into a... I just ran into a projectile. That is the downside. I feel like the move does actually take skill. And that's something I do lack on occasion. And we boring level up. So we'll do the 5%. So now one in four of our hits will be critical. And oh, look, there's a boss down there. Ah, there's a cactus guy as well. But yeah, there's the boss gone. Let's see what's in the chest for us. Deal your raw damage as an area effect. Each time your projectiles do a critical. Okay, we are 100% taking that. So now we should see lots of explosions on screen, which I'll probably have to turn off at some point when we get quite far in the game. Assuming we get quite far in the game. Uh, we'll also have to turn off the damage numbers, which may have been missing. I did just realize all that stuff was turned off from my last run, which was a long one. Yeah, I think I'll keep increasing my area for now. That seems good. The only downside, I feel like my garlic is a bit wasted on this build because I'm not exactly going to be standing still very often. Oh, we've just got a boss and we've got an upgrade to take beforehand. Uh, let's gain more attack speed. So we're on 2.55 a second. We're now on three attacks a second. Uh, we've got to take out the dog. 
So we can just work our way around. How's the health doing? Oh, it's actually, it's got quite a lot of health, actually. Uh, we can take out these little guys quite easy, though, because they do actually cause a lot of trouble as little minions. All right, take out these two dirty dogs. Take out those ones. Blooming out. There's a lot of stuff down there. I think the boss is just about done now. And there he goes. Nice. So what does the boss have for us in the chest? Oh, so many things I want. So many things I want. So every 30 shots, your next shot is slow, huge, and deals three times more damage and cannot be stopped. We've got the tornado one where projectiles fling around us. We can shoot behind us. Or even this one would be good for this build. Every one meter, deal 30% of your damage around you. Since we're running a lot, maybe I do want to go with that. I feel like shoot behind you is amazing, though. So is that one and so is that one. Oh, I don't know what to go for. I'll tell you what, back in my engineering job, whenever I got stuck, I didn't know what solution was the right one. I'd always use this one engineering concept that would never fail. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch an architect by its toe. If it bites, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going for the seismic dance. This could be a mistake, but uh, I don't write the rules. Oh, really? Yeah, so basically, I just need to do a lot of running, and then we should be fine, I think. I should probably stay like up here where all my hearts are as well. Seems sensible. Oh, we're on the part of the game where we're getting red coins as well. If we kill these guys, they give us red coins, which are worth more than gold ones. If you've ever played Mario 64, that is sound logic. Uh, so I guess let's increase our area. We are going to have to increase our damage at some point, though. It's been a while since we got a damage upgrade. Oh, perhaps this guy will have... I've never seen you before. Who are you, mate? He had like an axe in his head. Now, the first time a projectile hits, it spreads into three projectiles that do 35% of your damage. Okay, that is good. That is really good. I think he gets rid of my bounce, actually. I don't know if that's good. Have I just lost out on that? I mean, to be fair, it's actually it's doing amazing, so I'm not going to complain too much. Now, I love how fast that... Look at me just flying around like anything. Right, we've got... Ooh, what's that? You get one more choice for each upgrade and object selection. Yep, that is an easy take. Means I don't actually upgrade that time, but future upgrades should be even better. Anyway, I think I'll take this attract all collectibles on the screen when you eliminate a deputy. Although, no, I'm, I'm moving quite a lot. Maybe I don't want that one. And gluttony slows us down, which I don't really want. Yeah, sod it. If I'm starting with a faster speed, then it should just affect me less, right? Yeah, basically, with that one, every time I get a bit of health, like if I increase my max health, our damage goes up by 10% as well. All right, so we finally got another damage upgrade. So we'll take that. That does a lot more damage. So we're up to 214 damage now. Remember, each one of our steps basically does 30% damage in that circle area. So if I just like wrap around people, yeah, look, they get disintegrated. Oh, there's a laser shooting boss. We'll just get rid of him quick. All right, we've got enemies that drop blue coins now. There's one there. So they're worth even more than the red coins, which is always a good thing. Because yeah, that bar at the top, that's how often I can upgrade. That is filling up a lot slower these days. So we've got to kill these higher experience enemies. It's just taking a little while to upgrade. Right, there we go. We have an upgrade. Uh, let's gain more damage. 234 damage. Oh, so good. It is so good. Um, oh, no, we've got mole people, though. They threw dynamite at us. Oh, we got a, we got a boss, a samurai boss. Thankfully, he is no match for us, so we got his chest. Oh, and that was an upgrade from earlier, the, the orbiting projectiles. So that should be pretty good once we get a few projectiles on the move. Yeah, can you see those two projectiles? Well, three now, flinging around me. So basically, my area is like just really, really deadly now. We've got the garlic in there, we've got the stompy feet, and now we've got that as well. So probably worth increasing the size of that area by 20%. Nice. Damn mole people trying to throw dynamite at me. Sorry, I do get I, I get quite aggressive towards mole people. I do apologize if there are any mole people watching. Now, just something about this game brings out my, my actual hate of mole people. All right, we've got another boss. We have the next boss. So this one, we can just stand here-ish and pretty much not get hit. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely slacking on our attack. Usually, we would be doing some major damage and he'd be gone by now. He wouldn't even get to this stage. So we do need to be a little bit wary that we're not doing as well as I perhaps thought we were. Still, thankfully, we can move really fast so we can get out the way of all the dynamite he's chucking. And Denzel is down. Decent. Right, what have you got in the box, Denzel? Ooh, what do I go for here? I know Pong is amazing as well. Although it does reduce your attack speed by 30%. Yeah, so let's take Pong. It is gold and shiny, and I love gold and shiny stuff. So now all my projectiles, they bounce off the screen twice. <laughs> so basically, anyone entering the screen is just doomed. 
And if they do get past the screen and into my area, they're even more doomed. Uh, and I'm going to increase that area by 20% size again. Right, so trying to find some enemies, they just keep getting wiped as soon as they go near. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, we've got some enemies now. We're getting some, we are getting some experience. We've got the green coins are out. So another samurai boss. Oh, actually, oh, he's taking some damage. Oh, yes, we got the sheep behind you, Perk, as well. Decent. So now we're basically shooting twice as fast because we're shooting forwards and backwards. And because they're hitting the edge of the screen and then bouncing, uh, even better. Uh, let's gain much more damage. 234 up to 273 damage. Right, we've got a boss here to deal with. Oh, they <laughs> just instantly gone. When your projectiles should be destroyed, reduces their damage by 50% and pierce instead. Yep, we'll take that. That just means our projectiles will carry on even further. Let's gain a lot more attack speed. Yeah, and I still haven't taken any health yet for the gluttony thing. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Raise your health by two. So our, our damage should increase. Yeah, 315 it is now. We do move a little bit slower. I think 10% slower. I think it's 5% with every single health we add. But uh, when you're gaining 10% damage, you can't really complain. So axe-wielding boss there. He's taking a bit of damage, but not too bad. We get another upgrade, uh, which is just going to be re-rolls for later on. Nice. So I just increased my health again. We're at the point where we're getting purple coins now. They're worth even more than the greens and the blues. Uh, we're still pretty much one-shotting most of these guys. We're not really struggling at all. Uh, since we're moving so much, I might take this one. Every time you move two meters, lightning strikes a random enemy. Yeah, now we're doing... Oh, it's just constant damage if I move. And then if I stop moving, I just do my crazy shots a second. <laughs> I'm feeling overpowered. So let's make our range even bigger. That's a 30% increase. That is a big old range. Right, we have a boss. We have a boss. So, ah, this is the horse one. Thankfully, I can move fast. So I can sort of get out of the way pretty easily. Oh, look at the health going down. Let's just dash to the other side. Boosh. Like, all my shots that I've missed are just bouncing around everywhere. It's beautiful. Right, we've knocked him off the horse. Now, if we just get close, we're doing all the damage we need to. If I can run around him as well, that's even more damage. All right, he's got to dodge the projectiles. There we go. Oh, goodness. There's horses coming in. Ah, I, just, I just took a hit. I just took a hit. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to dodge right now. Blooming out. All right, come on. There's so many projectiles hitting him. His health is not going down as fast as I thought it would. All right, damage, damage, damage. Come on. He's nearly down. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we got an upgrade there, but there are so many, like, notifications. Because I think there's, like, challenges now where you get, like, extra gold. I don't know what we got. Oh, I do know what we got. We took the, the pushing bullet ones. Okay, that's good. So every 30 shots, we do those huge blue ones. Yeah, they Oh, they split into three as well. Oh, that's decent. But yeah, they also bounce off the screen. So essentially, we need to try and get our try and get our attack speed up. Although not ideal with that one. Maybe we'll just do more damage for now. But yeah, since we only shoot one of those big ones every 30 shots, we sort of want to do more shots per second. Just so we're shooting them more often. Because they are powerful. I just turned off the explosions because they were like they were hurting my eyes a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of that boss. Blooming out. Has he got anything good for us in here? Oh, projectiles slow down enemies they touch by 70%. Yeah, that will be very useful, actually. Uh, we'll gain more attack speed. So we're up to 3.1 a second, which sort of means those big shots, they should come out every 10 seconds. So we definitely want to be increasing our attack speed. We can probably sacrifice some damage as well, should there be upgrades that do that. Although it is nice having my safe area that no one can get close to. All right, raise my health by two. We're up to 400 damage now. We are now moving slower, though. Oh, look, there's a little cheeky little demon down there. He is down, though. Does he have a good upgrade for us? Emit an aura that slows enemies near you by 35%. Well, since our aura is so huge, it's nearly the whole screen. Let's just slow everyone down. Now no one can get close. They'll be stuck in my garlic fart breath for ages as well. Oh, yeah, if I keep moving as well, they'll also be stuck in my earthquakes, which we can't see now I've turned the explosions off, but they are still there. Trust me. And by the way, if you're a fan of the bridge puns, like trust me, I'm an engineer, check out my merch store, realcivilengineer.com. Yeah, anyway, more attack speed. So 3.57. That is good. Now, if they got another upgrade to Keeler Bottle, permanently raise your attack speed by 30%, but half your shots are less precise. Well, we've got all the, we've got the ping bounce going on the edge of the screen, so we don't really need to be accurate anymore with our shots. As long as we're shooting, that is the key. All right, enemies are closing in. Damn, mole people are throwing their dynamite. Frame rate is actually struggling a little bit. I may need to turn off the damage numbers. 
Ooh, shots pierced. Now, the question is, does that actually do anything? Because we have the, the splitty one. Let's see what happens and see if we can actually tell whether these pierce or not. I'm not convinced they do because they split into several different projectiles. I feel like it may have been a mistake taking that upgrade. Not going to lie. Oh, wow. We are getting quite surrounded now. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to upgrade, of course. So we're going to take deal area damage before a dash, I think. Because uh, then I can just push them back a bit every time I dash to get back. I might have to jump out of this mosh pit any second now. Yeah, let's get out of it. All right, around the outside. Phew. All right, raise maximum health by two. Yeah, because that's damage up increase as well. So we're up to 450 damage. So let's try and get around the edge of this swarm. All right, and then we'll attack them. No, damn, more people throwing dynamite. What are you doing? Doing pretty well, though. We're not actually taking damage, and we are still leveling up, which is pretty good. Yeah, let's gain more damage. Oh, 480. That went up by 30. That is a lot. What? Nah, I never knew that. Oh, man. Speaking of a lot, though, look at all those enemies. <laughs> There's too many. Nearly a 200 grand bounty. But uh, I feel like we are struggling to make a dent in the horde. Yeah, enemies are taking a lot of hits to go down now. We have just leveled up, although we are taking damage. Uh, attack speed, I guess. We're up to 5.32. We may be able to ride this out if we get the right upgrades. I'm not too convinced, though. All right, get back, get back. Look at that horde. There's so many of them. All right, yeah, annoyingly, our Pong is not doing much. Oh, man, frame rate is, is hurting. It's hurting in a big way. All right, I think there's a boss about to go down. Oh, I can't get close to him. <laughs> I got to go back left. That's where the hearts are. Here we go. Loads of hearts again. Okay, let's try and... Yes, we got one down. So damage up by 30%, but attack speed down. Not ideal, but a 30% increase, 30% increase. So that's 624 damage when we have full health. So sadly, that is the end. We've got a 213 grand bounty though. Not bad at all. So you know what? Peace, love, and new characters. Bye, guys.